go. Hello everybody. <clears throat> Welcome to our inaugural um, our inaugural uh, gaming stream here on the channel. I uh, hope everybody is well. We're doing a double stream here today um, where we are going to be taking on some flight simulator. Um, no, no, something that we normally haven't done before. Um, so hopefully everyone can sort of hear, uh, hear myself and um, sort of hopefully the background noise isn't too uh, isn't too much uh, for anybody to listen to. Um, so as you can see on the screen, we are here on the flight arranging or flight planner uh, screen. Uh, we are basically going to have you guys pick the aircraft and the flight that we do uh, today. Um, so if you've got any suggestions for any of the or for any flight that you want to see, uh, do pop them in the chat. We'll see where we get to, um, and um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll get flying hopefully, uh, hopefully very very soon. And of course, say hello as well uh, if you're there as well. I'm all set. Uh, I've got got my sneak, so I'm all good. So I'm all going to be you know, kept hydrated and everything else. I'm going to power through with a slightly uh, knackered elbow as well. God, that's good. Um, so yeah, it's so going to power through, um, and we'll get a flight going uh, once we have some suggestions coming in. So, do say hello if you are about and in the chat. Go for a quick sort of there we go. So quick sort of run through really uh, to what we've got here. It is basic uh, sort of aircraft. Um, there is no special ones you have got of course the A310 uh, got the ATR72 A321 of course the A330 as well that is there uh, we've got the 330neo as well 737 max that 737-800 doesn't particularly work so we'll give that a miss we've got 747-8 of course we've got the 767-400 as well, We've got the seven triple uh, seven two hundred freighter version, and of course the seven triple seven three hundred there. Seven eight seven. I tried to download, but it didn't work because uh, I think I need the base version of the the seven eight seven, which is a shame. Would have been a nice sort of get around uh, in terms of doing that. Uh, we also have uh, the Bombardier CRJ five fifty that I haven't flown yet. Uh, the seven hundred ER, which I've not flown yet either. The dash eight. It's there as well. Uh, Max, uh, Max TV Live Express. What flight are we doing? Well, it's entirely up to you. Um, this first sort of stream is literally a case of what you guys want to see in terms of flying um, and uh, where you want to go to, etc. Um, and yeah, just a, a sort of a short stream really to kind of uh, get us going. Of course, next week we'll actually have a you know a set sort of um, stream in place potentially. With, uh, with the Concorde, DC Designs Concord, uh, maybe transatlantic that way as well. Um, but yeah, back to the other aircraft that we've got here. So we've got the DC-3, um, the ERJ-170 and 175, which I think previous experience hasn't really sort of, I don't think they work very well, unless uh, an update has changed that, but I'm not entirely sure, but you've got those aircraft there as well. 747-100, uh, and a 767-300 as well, which are flyable. And of course, you've got the Hawker Hunter as well, um, which had a fly around a day or two before. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's um, it's quite a tricky plane to fly. <laughs> but it's, it's good fun at the same time. But the Hercules H4 as well. Um, and we also got the mighty C-17. So, oh, of course, we've got the uh, De Havilland Dash Seven 
down there too. So let me know. Uh, let me know what you want to see aircraft wise. I've gone through the list. Uh, and let me know what you want to see uh, in terms of what, uh, what aircraft we fly and where we go. Nothing transatlantic. Um, we'll keep it nice and short. nice and short if we can in terms of uh, sort of flight wise I don't mind where we go do you suggest any flight routes otherwise I will end up picking one and we'll go with a standard 320 Neo So again, another quick run through uh, of the aircraft that sort of we can fly passenger wise. The ATR-72, the A310, 320 Neo, 321, the A330, um, 330 Neo, which is a, a, a fun little aircraft to fly actually, I've flown it many, many times. 737 Max, 747-8, 767 uh, 300, 777-200s. CRJ 700s dash 8 let me know what you want to see me fly uh, how do I download all the aircraft to my Xbox Tom some of these aircraft you can't download to the Xbox because they are uh, only PC only uh, so the only PC ones that you get I think at the moment are the ATR um, 321 I think is third party through PC same with the 330 and 330 Neo, they're all PC um, based, uh, sort of freeware aircraft. Um, the 767 is part of the 777 pack, so from uh, Captain Sim. Um, Dash 8 again is free as well on PC, uh, off of like third party, uh, third party um, websites. Um, these two, 747 100 and 767 300, they're all third party as well. Um, Hunter is, I think, a free free version of that one as well. So it's all basic, all PC, same with the C17 as well. And uh, the Dash 7. Right, I want to fly people, so let me know. Um, yeah, let me know. Let me know what you want to do. Let me know what you want to see. I'm by no means any expert on flight sim. Um, I am very basic when it comes to it. So I've shown you all the aircraft. Let me know uh, where. Yeah, let me know where you want to go. Let me know where you want to see. And if you haven't got the game, uh, let me see. Let me know. Um, yeah, if you want to see it anywhere that might resemble sort of where you're from. Alright, Max, if you're in the chat, let me know where you want to go. <laughs> Munching on crisps. Tesco's finest. Let me know where you want to see me fly to, Max. I've got a rough idea in my head where I kind of want to go. It's just depending on which aircraft I fancy taking to do it. Of course, 
the double stream for us this evening uh, today on uh, on, on the Saturday. Uh, we are back live later with the Departure Lounge podcast, where we're hosting the inaugural uh, TDL Airline World Cup, of course, in uh, collaboration with the FIFA World Cup that is happening right now. So that's live 7:30 p.m. this evening. Do let me know, like I said, where you want to see me go, Max, if you're still there, of course, uh, get some suggestions in, otherwise I'm probably going to pick a route myself very, very soon, because I want to fly. suggestions that's fine let's have a look then see where we can go from in fact I want to see where we go to let's uh, zoom out here on the map and see where we can fly to this is sort of the, the range that I'm looking at here we'll go down into Spain maybe Uh, Tom, have you got the Spitfire and Concorde and the 787? Uh, no to all three. Don't have the 787 because I only have the standard version uh, of the flight sim. Um, and I'm not spending 70 quid to upgrade just to get that um, get that one aircraft. Uh, Spitfire and Concorde, I think I'm going to be buying Concorde this week uh, in preparation for potentially next week's stream where we do um, probably London to New York in, in Concorde. But here are your options. I'm liking the idea of potentially going to Austria. Or maybe even going Italy, maybe, or even down to Malta. Maybe Malta. Like I wanna know what you guys want to see, otherwise I'm gonna literally I'm gonna you know be picking a, a route and getting on with it. In terms of where we're going from, I think we'll go from. Got to be careful with this zooming luck because. I think we'll go from Stansted. That will be our departure uh, airport. See here, kind of got Ryanair on final in real life. Uh, from Stansted, I think we're going to go from we're going to go from this parking spot here. So we've got where we're going from. We need to go where we're going to. Innsbruck is always a good shout. Wonder where everyone's gone. Might just be a case of time of day, maybe, as well. But let's go from I'll take let's go to Go down to Nice. We'll go down to Nice, I think. Um, cancel that as arrival. Cancel that as arrival. 
we'll let them give us a, a set as the arrival. So we have got an hour and 18. Uh, we could probably go a bit further than that, actually. Let's go maybe Stansted to Ibiza, maybe. It's an hour and 45. Where else we got here? We got uh, Old Beer. Could go down to Old Beer. Alright, we're going to go down to. Uh, hope your elbow is getting better. Uh, sorry, hope your elbow is getting stronger soon, Tom. Then you should be back up and running soon again. Fingers crossed. They have told me it's supposed to be something along the lines of six to eight weeks. Um, we're about to hit the second week, so. Fingers crossed. It does cause me problems at the moment. Um, right, I think we're going to go down to Royce. Yeah, I think we'll go down to Royce. So we've got two five there. It's about an hour and a half. That's what we're doing. We're going to go uh, IFR. Uh, right, time to pick the aircraft. I think we'll stick with 320. 320 for now. Uh, and to go down to there, we'll go for... Should we go for livery wise? Air tours, the old air tours. I think that sounds pretty cool. Let's just customize the call sign. Okay. Uh, flight conditions, we do live, live traffic is there. I think we are pretty much good to go. So we are going from Stansted down to, uh, I forgot where we're going now, we're down to Royce in Spain. Uh, is there going to be live ATC talking to you? Uh, only on the game. I uh, don't have anything like a VAT sim. Let's get the game launched. Yeah, don't have anything like a VAT sim at all, because uh, it does frighten the life out of me wanting to <laughs> wanting to do it. Forgive me for crunching at the same time. Did I hear about the seven eight seven dash nine was going to be releasing soon? Should, uh, should be soon. I'm not entirely sure. I did see a video. Um, I did see a video last night actually of the future aircraft that are coming out and uh, yeah there are some interesting ones 757 is coming out next year uh, the A300 next year as well I think the uh, A380 is back end of next year uh, slash 2024 as well uh, by fly-by-wire Some, some very interesting aircraft coming next year. I think it's a, um, an update to the Phoenix A320 as well.
Told me this game it takes forever to load. Literally. So pop along, say hello if you're there. will normally run faster. I think it's purely because I've got the Stansted Airport, so it's literally trying to load it into the game as well at the same time. So frame rates might take a little bit of a hit. Hopefully not. It's getting there. Ever so slowly. Say hello if you're in the chat. Here we go. Watch the frame rate trump go down the drain. Here we go. Can you see it? Can you feel it? Man, the frame rate is so bad. I'd be amazed if the game doesn't crash. I should have gone from somewhere else. parked us right next to I'm not entirely sure I'm happy with that I may just change that uh, Ian I'm dipping in and out between jobs I see you got your drinks up I did in the end right, let me get into this game let me just see if it loads up me into it, that's all I need. There we go. Terrific because I've got the Sandstead scenery, that's what it is. That's why I've got a love-hate relationship with this game. Over, I don't know why it does that. Right, can we actually get a view of the outside? <clears throat> Frame rate is bad, it's so bad. Why is it bad? Let's see if I can drop it down a bit. It's not the signal causing it. <clears throat> no, it's definitely not the signal. But on bloody medium, that's the thing. Let's take it down low end. Don't think it makes too much of a difference. 
worst case I'll just change the airport <clears throat> right, can we look outside? Yes, we can. <clears throat> it's a parcel. <laughs> it is. Okay, here we go. Knows the our aircraft. what we're flying today. Don't often see that, but okay. <laughs> So this is the Stanford scenery, which for whatever reason is parked at this right next to my plane. There's a Ryanair that just landed. Marshallers, etc. about launching back maybe at a different airport. Anyway. Let's go from the ship behind. Jump straight in. Remember, try to remember how to start the aircraft. Why is he doing that? Air Tours 1851 is cleared to Rose Airport as filed. Take off runway 04 climb and maintain 12,000 feet. Departure frequency is 118.475 squawk 7325. Air Tours 1851 cleared to Reyes Airport as filed. Take off runway 04 climb and maintain 12,000 feet. Departure on 118 decimal for 75 squawk 7325. Air Tours 185, one read back correct. Contact ground on 121 decimal 7 tree. Good day. All right. So we can probably go ahead and get everything connected. I hate this ATC, I really do. Um, 
Let's get that. Stansted Ground Air Tours 1851, could you please connect the jetway to the aircraft? Air Tours 1851, the jetway is going to be connected. Let's get people on. Baggage. Stansted Ground Air Tours 1851, could you please send the baggage? Air Tours 1851 baggage is on the way. Uh, and we also want catering. Stansted Ground Air Tours 1851, could you please send the catering truck? Air Tours 1851, the catering truck is on the road. So whilst we take people on board, we go down to Royce. Here we are live again this evening, 7 to 8 p.m. for the podcast. We'll be doing uh, the uh, Airline World Cup. You can see the generic Ryanair. background now. I don't think you can turn off it, do you see? I don't think you can. I'll just double check the checklist here. is a rather big beeping. Yep. So I turn on the external power. I've got to refresh myself as to how we do this. The air switches are all on. There we go, APU master switch. APU start. Stansted Ground Air Tours 1851, could you please disconnect the jetway from the aircraft? Available is lit, external power off. Uh, fuel, fuel pumps. All on. And then lastly, the beacon. So the aircraft should be pretty much nearly ready to go. Again, I don't know why it keeps doing that. So we'll 
clear. We're going to hit that. So if we send her, we're forgive that. Okay, so we want the part uh, push back. Stansted ground air tour is one eight five one requesting pushback. Air tour is one eight five one pushback request accepted. Don't get this right. I'm just steering it to the right, are we? Right or left? God, someone help me out here. We're getting pushed back. Is it to the right or to the left? Literally haven't played this for a while. I'm assuming if I'm being pushed back, I need to be turned. What be to my left? Ryanair eight three six three requesting pushback. Ryanair eight three six three pushback. Is it my left? Accepted. I'm gonna go for the right. See what happens. Stansted ground air tourism one eight five one requesting pushback tug to steer the aircraft to the right. Air tourism one eight five one. Oh no! I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> All right, steer it to the left. Steer it to the left. Other way around. requesting pushback tug to steer the aircraft to the left. Turn it back round. Air tours one eight five one. Your request has been transmitted to the operator. Didn't happen. We're all good. Bloody embarrassing. All right, so we are commencing pushback here. Stansted Ground Air Tours 1851 requesting the end of pushback. It's not the best, but it'll do. Alright, so with that. Stansted ground, Ryanair 8363, ready to taxi, IFR. We can get ready to. Taxi to and hold short like I said, I'm just refreshing myself. Alright, so they're at level. IGN mode to start. Last switch number two. Turn that on. Stansted ground easy two one zero taxi to east parking. Easy two one zero taxi to general aviation parking using taxiway Romeo Hotel Charlie. Taxi two and hold short runway zero four using taxiway Juliet Bravo Hotel Kilo Ryanair. Power. Power! Uh, podcast is on tonight, as I've been mentioning throughout the stream. Stansted Ground Air Tour is 1851 ready to taxi IFR. Air Tour is 1851 taxi to and hold short of runway 04 using taxiway Juliet Alpha Hotel Kilo. Contact tower on 1851 right, taxi Please switch. When ready. Master switch. Taxi two and hold short runway zero four via taxiway Juliet Alpha Hotel Kilo Air Tours one eight five one. No. I think we're pretty much good to go. We are in 
indeed. So we're heading down to Royce in Spain. I'm going to follow that Ryanair uh, out to the active. Okay, as we do that, we'll put our, uh, put our nav light on. Taxi. So as we taxi out to uh, I believe it was runway f it was runway four, yeah. It's obviously uh, a different departure today. Um, quick notice, of course, as mentioned, we are on the podcast again tonight because of the football tomorrow uh, of England Senegal taking place at seven o'clock. Uh, a lot of us at the uh, on the channel are football fans, so we don't kind of want to miss it. So we bought the podcast uh, forward a day, which is why we're doing it tonight, uh, as opposed to um, you know doing it um, doing it tomorrow. So as we taxi out, there of course you've got your familiar uh, Stansted spotting places. And what you'll notice is, at the same time, what really bugs me is the plane will start yawing off to the left. I don't know why it does that. I really, really don't. I cannot seem to fix it. Go back to the cockpit view. There's the Ryanair maintenance area. Just make sure that the radio is done automatically. Yes, it is.
the same way. So we've got Ryanair 3633 coming in. Father. Not a professional by any chance, any stretch of the imagination. Tower Air Tourist 1851 ready for IFR departure runway 04. Our clearance to line up and wait. Ryanair Put the wing lights on, on and we now put the strobes on. Good day. the aircraft now drift off to the left hand side no idea why it does it but it does here we go powering up and full power So we're going to bank, bank off to the left, start heading towards uh, 
to Spain. Says, look at that frame rate. Ryanair two seven two Niner, contact Stansted approach on one two zero decimal six two five. Good day. One two zero decimal six two five Ryanair two seven two Niner. Okay. We're going to set the uh, auto uh, airspeed to about 300. In fact, we're going to go about 295 knots. We're going to bring the flaps up. Yes, we get it. Over speed. We get it. Over speed. Over speed. We get it. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. Air Tours 185, one please expedite your climb flight level 200. Okay, so there we go, so aircraft is into place. Did I use AI piloting? No. I use the aircraft's uh, autopilot system. So we should start banking shortly to line up with that pink line uh, that you can see whereabouts I am. This pink line here. Yeah, there you go. So this pink line here, the aircraft should now start picking that up. As we make a climb to 20,000 feet. Traffic is one o'clock, four miles at four thousand nine hundred feet generic. Report 
So down below us at the moment, we got uh, Dagenham. Tonight's World Cup show, are we doing with my liveries? We're doing something a little bit different. Uh, a little bit different to that. wonder if I can turn it back up to... Just bear with me, hang on a second. If I can put that graphics back up to medium. No, it's kind of in, in, in place of the flight at the minute. I'll just go back. There we go. It's a bit better. So we've got London to our right hand side. Sun begins to set. I'll take the map off for the minute. And I'll take ATC so we can enjoy the view. Registration you can see is Golf uh, Juliet Alpha November Mike. So we've got Biggin Hill to our right hand side. Right now, tree, six tree traffic is three o'clock, four miles at three thousand feet generic. Not really, of course, we got. Uh, firing them. Swift tree 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 traffic is 12 o'clock, 4 miles, at 3,900 feet generic. Very, very cloudy. Report them in sight. At the shore. Badges Swift now. tree tree tree, have the generic in sight. A few decent spots.
got like in the background. Uh, flat time to race. I think it's about an hour and a half. Uh, well, when you get to Reyes, can you do a Swiss 001 butter? I will do my best. Do my very best. Take the autopilot off quickly and help this climb. Have you watched <coughs> Swiss 0014? The videos are amazing. Yes, I have watched them actually. I think I've subscribed. I'm hoping to do this every Saturday. Doing different flights, short hops, etc. Pretty much all over the world.
maybe next Saturday to Qantas from London to Dubai. It's a good, yeah, good solid six, six and a half hour flight. Might put a poll up and see sort of what flights might be recommended. Might do a long haul one. Depends if the interest is there. So here we are outside the aircraft. Um, we'll have a quick nosy, see what's below us. Lots of cloud. It's below us. Um, we have a look on the map here. We have just left England. Looking for a SITET uh, transition. Uh, before we go to Etrat, uh, DVL, uh, and we go on to then Kappa. So who actually remembers uh, the old airline of Air Tours? Um, pub quiz, brownie points, uh, who did Air, Air Tours become? So if anybody here wants to support the channel for Super Chats, you can. Um, by dropping uh, a donation into the chat. Uh, of course, all donations will be appreciated, but it is not an obligation to do so. Of course, it's not just Flight Sim, but we will do other games as well. If, again, like, if the interest is there, then we'll do other games um, as well. Really nice right now above the uh, above the English Channel. There's the moon in the background there. Royal Air Merak 802, you are Like I said, I I, I have a, a real sort of love hate relationship with this with this sim. Um, when it works, it's it's fantastic. Um, when it has its struggles with uh, frame rate and everything else, it can be a real, a real turn off and a real pain in the backside. I think I flew this one down to uh, Ibiza, I think, from Manchester, I think, and that was a really, really cool flight. But I haven't picked this up for God knows how long. So it's nice to be able to actually have it back into uh, in, in in playing mode once again. Ten nautical miles from the Sitet uh, transition, so we should be taking a left bank soon. We are sitting on autopilot, of course. So left bank coming up shortly. Air Tours one eight five one contact Paris Center on one one nine or decimal eight two five. Good day. One one nine or decimal eight two five for Air Tours one eight five one. Paris Center Air Tours one eight five one is at flight level two seven five climbing flight level three four zero. There you go, there is the left bank as we go over to uh, Cite. Won't be long now until we reach the next transition. So who's been watching the World Cup? What's your favourite moment apart from Multi Germany getting knocked out? 
what is your favourite uh, favourite moment of the World Cup as we prepare to do the uh, the airline World Cup later on this evening? Just about to do Madrid to London Heathrow with the British Airways Triple Seven Two Hundred registration Golf Victor Indigo India rather India India I think that's Tango. I'm having to read the chat off my phone. Nice, very nice indeed. I, I find the Triple Seven quite interesting to fly on here. I've had one or two issues with it um, in terms of trying to keep the speed down on on, on, on approach. Hopefully that's different because I quite like to fly it, but yeah, it has has proven to be a little bit sticky when it comes to, to trying to fly it. So we'll put the map away uh, for the time being, just so we can enjoy the view here that we have. What I might do actually, if I pick up my controller, two seconds. I'm going to show you in the, the interior, but I don't think I will. I don't want to unplug something and it turned out not to be um, well, something I shouldn't have unplugged. What I do need is my phone charger, so I'm going to disappear quickly. PC at full screen. Oh, I need to turn it on. Right, disappearing again. Hang on. No, I can continue to read the chat. So, we are 22 nautical miles and counting until the next transition. Don't know Jim. Hello, hello. Firstly, hello to you, Jim. But uh, yeah, don't know. You'll have to ask. You'll have to ask him the question. Okay, DVL is our next transition. We are currently over France. Afternoon, Jim. Thank you for joining us uh, this afternoon. These will hopefully become regular streams, provided, like I say, the interest is there and people want to see them. Then uh, I don't see why we don't do them all the time. So we are currently uh, approaching uh, flight level 340. Uh, if you see me looking to the left. Climb and maintain flight level 390 air tours 1851. That's our cue to go to. I'm not going to want to go to that. I'm going to want to go to about 36, I think. So I'm going to go 39, so let's get rid of three. Paris Center air tours 1851. Request flight level 360. Air tours 1851 climb and maintain flight level 360. Okay, 360. Climb and maintain flight level 360 air tours 1851. 
So flight level 360 is where we will sit uh, for the remainder of the flight. Uh, like I said, currently over France. Um, of course, for those watching the World Cup uh, this afternoon, I think it's the Netherlands against the USA, I think, um, coming up first. Max, I imagine you're still watching. Uh, what's the longest flight you have done in Flight Sim? As we now turn onto the DVL uh, transition. I haven't done the longest flights yet, Tom, but I'm planning on doing that. Uh, I have done... The longest one I have done is... Uh, I think it was LA LA to Heathrow. And I did that on flight sim... I think it's FSX. Um, and that one was... A good sort of... Uh, how long was that? That was probably a long... It was a long one. I've done Auckland to Honolulu as well. That was a, a massive flight. So, uh, so yeah. So now we've reached our cruising altitude as we sit above the clouds over France. Can't really see anything. Spewing out uh, contrails. The aircraft is looking wonderful uh, in the winter light. We'll sit there with the sun behind, uh, sorry, with the moon behind. <clears throat> me looking to the left but it's because my phone is on charge and that's where I'm looking at the chat so a quick look at the route as we zoom out here uh, we're going down to Kepra at the moment on the Kepra transition that is 69 nautical miles away then we bank to the left and head towards uh, Nima and Pepax down all the way to uh, EGN, and then to Girom, Mopas, and Uska, Rebel, and then we are there in Reyes. Expected runway, looking at I'll zoom in here. I'd say probably coming in from this direction into Reyes. A uh, quick example of that would be to have a quick look on flight sim, which is what, uh, sorry, on uh, flight radar. Um, there is Reyes. So I imagine we're coming in on the on runway 25, which is from uh, this direction here. There's no flights today, fair enough. No flights from Reyes.
Lovely. But we'll find out anyway. We'll find out together, no doubt. So the aircraft is sitting at uh, flight level 360. We'll put the map, uh, we'll put the GP back there. Uh, we'll have ourselves at <coughs> 100 nautical miles away in terms of the range. I mean, the overall look of the sim is, is wonderful. Like it, it is, it's wonderful to look at. It's just a shame it takes up so much like processing power. Uh, Vruden the Great, we are doing a flight from Stansted to Reyes in Spain. Uh, and wait for the flight uh, to progress even further. Max, if you're still there, of course, let me know about any upcoming flights that you have, obviously apart from the ones you've mentioned. And I'm just literally going to sit and munch on cheese and onion crisps. Because I am starving. So 39 nautical miles away from the next transition. A uh, quick look on the maps. Uh, just have a quick nosy to see sort of whereabouts we are. So we are sort of between Laval and Le Mans in France. Say we've got about another hour, maybe 50 minutes of flying time. Uh, Ruben the Great, my VR stopped working at Sim Update 11. Uh, it just started working again last night, even though I still get the warning window that says it won't i'd love to try it i'd love to try it on um on vr but i have no idea how you set it up but i think it'd be even better as an experience and obviously say a lot of people that i you know watch on youtube or, or you know just have a look uh in terms of um how they how they play the game obviously quite enjoy the uh, the the vr route so I'd, I'd love to know how to set mine up to, to vr but whether it's complicated or not i don't know Quick nosy to this down here. Wonder if that's what time we have left. Uh, it's completely different. Everything has depth and scale. Oh, now you're just making me want to try it. <laughs> you're just making me want to try it. I do. I, I want to try VR flights in so bad. I don't know what that is there though. ET. It's an operative though, so you can't do anything about it.
got the package. Earlier in the stream, you probably heard the doorbell go. There's a package. If you have a headset hooked up, all you have to do is hit Control Tab. I want to know how you actually hook it up, and that's the thing. I'd love to know how to hook it up. I don't know if it's simple to hook up or. <laughs> yeah. So Christmas, uh, obviously round the corner, I bought myself a new Christmas shirt. on the headset. Well, I have the MetaQuest 2, I think. <laughs> that is awesome. Brand new Christmas shirt. I'm going to wear that this evening on the podcast. So that will be the uh, the reveal of the t-shirt just there. Uh, six miles away from the Kepa transition. watching for the first time and are enjoying this sort of first stream that we're doing because we look to doing some gaming streams every sort of weekend uh, do um, yeah do consider hitting the subscribe button um, and turning on notifications as well be part of the notification squad <clears throat> Might have to do a little bit more of a, you know, a little bit of research into that one, but appreciate that, Vruden. Thank you. Let's see if I can, uh, yeah, see if I can muck about with that. All right. So uh, I'd say we've got about maybe, I'd you know, say, forty-five minutes or so left uh, of this flight. It's only a short one down to rest today. Uh, next week, I've got a few ideas. Uh, maybe take the 330neo out for a spin uh, as well on a long haul flight uh, or potentially purchase Concord and do a transatlantic flight for that Quest 2 was $300 last week, was it really? I think mine's a Quest 2 Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. I've just had a look at the box. Yeah, it is a, a quest to get rid of the map for the minute, so we can sort of enjoy the view out the cockpit window. The HP Reverb G2 was also three hundred dollars last week. Okay. Do you think it's superior to the the Quest 2, uh, Rudin? Uh, do let me know. Right, heading to the next transition. I say I am no uh, professional, um, or you know don't have the professional capability of flying aircraft or things like that so there are certain things that will go a little bit wrong City one, six, eight, seven. Contact Bordeaux Center. Uh, I prefer headsets Good day. Uh, I prefer a headset with a cable uh, I don't care for the battery power well that's, I think that's what the problem is one, with the, three, uh, the Quest Decimal 2 niner. Um, problem is, like, it's all well and good. Um, yeah, it's all well and good. Literally having, um, you know, your headset charged up and everything else, but you only get like a limited life on it. And I know it's 
you know, people's preference sometimes, but I quite like to get the most out of it, and I think like two hours is probably not enough. About two hours or so, anyway, I'm not, not sure, but um, Jack Rolls, hello to you. Uh, if you've missed it, here's the aircraft we're flying today. Flying the A320neo, uh, just on a quick sort of introductory flight to the streaming side of things uh, in the uh, very old Air Tours colours. Uh, we're flying it from Stansted, uh, which is a decent takeoff at least. Uh, Stansted down to uh, down to Reyes in Spain, just outside of Barcelona. Hopefully, the weather down there is a lot better than it is here. The world needs more A320 Neo streams. Is that <laughs> well? I mean, like I said, I, I'm trying to read it in the text message form. I don't know whether that's it's probably not sarcasm or not, but. This is just more of a start, I think. Oh, <laughs> when I saw this, <laughs> when I saw this, yeah, okay. It wasn't sarcasm then, all right. Yeah, 320 Neo, I mean, for me, easily on this game, I think the 320 Neo is probably the better plane to fly. Um, like I said, 330s are fine. Um, uh, the 747's okay to fly. Uh, 777's are all right if you've got them downloaded. Uh, but for me, for, you know, for like, sort of short hops and stuff, 320 Neo uh, will, will get you there over time. And it's pretty much flawless. So, yeah, I, I enjoy flying. This is pretty much the first time in God knows how long that I've actually been flying, uh, actually been on the on the, on the flight side. I really hate the subjective thing. How do you get rid of the subjective part? I want that to kind of disappear like forever, which would be nice. Ruden, I'm in the F-14 lately, the beast is fun to fly in VR. I can imagine, for those of a uh, weary sort of disposition in terms of you know, motion sickness, I imagine that's going to be quite interesting. Um, but yeah, again, F-14 on VR, but that's amazing, like, sign me up for it. Um, Max Jet TV Live Express, Tom, if you're going to be on still, can you do Reyes to Stansted return? Uh, I'm not going to do the return flight. Because uh, it's only just a short stream before um, to kind of get the ball rolling, see where we're going, uh, see sort of where the interest was. I'd like to do some more flights and stuff. I really, really do. Um, so hopefully, it's kind of give me an idea. Like I said, it's not you know I'm not one for bat sim um, at all. Uh, not bat sim. Uh, not you know I, I will muck things up. That's the thing. I'm not one of those ones that will be out for perfection. I will muck a lot of things up. Uh, either frame rate will do that, or just my version of trying to land it. Um, a little heads up, of course, before we do get to Reyes, uh, I am not an instrument flyer, uh, so I will hand land the plane uh, through sort of VFR uh, rules, even though we're flying IFR at the moment. But I will, um, yeah, I will fly. Air Tours 185 have the traffic. Or land the aircraft, I should say. Uh, manually, not through instruments, which I think makes it a little bit more fun. Let's have a look. So this side here. I do like the clouds in this game, but I think they look a bit doesn't look as realistic as I thought it would do. Um, a quick look at the maps, see where we are. We are currently uh, over. Hold on. Uh, we're heading towards Poitiers. 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 Uh, Poitiers Beard uh, Airport in France. Uh, and if I show it on the map, we are basically long past Paris. I'd say we are, yeah, heading towards literally, yeah, towards Bergerac and Toulouse at the moment. I 
so we're not too far away at all. I think we start descending in two, 241 uh, nautical miles as, as proven by the, the waypoint there in front of you. Uh, we can see a Eurowings flight, uh, whereas if you were to look it up on flight radar, that particular flight number, first one to do that and tell me where it's coming from uh, and where it's going to, um, that would be great. Just a little thing for you guys to do. Have a look on flight radar, see where that's going. Well, I know where it's gone from. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, somebody find out where um, Eurowings uh, 7642 uh, is flying to. Uh, Jack Rolls, love this livery. It is a cracker. Yeah, it's a cracker. I think it's a 90s livery. The 1990s, um, but it is uh, it is it is a stunner. It's an absolutely stunning, um, stunning livery. Might pop the map back up because we won't need that for a while. Almost looks like we're on collision course with that uh, Euro Wings plane. I thought that was going past us, but I don't think it is. It's either that or it's literally. We are literally side by side with it. I think we're side by side with it. Another Euro Wings in the background there, 9 of 5, 4, 3. Jack, predictions for tomorrow's game, guys. I'm confident 3 1 England. Of course, England plays Senegal in the World Cup, uh, round of 16 knockout. My vision in my head, and I've had it for a while, even though now Sadio Mane is, is not playing for them, uh, literally. Um, I always thought we'd get knocked out by Senegal, but I'm hoping we can scrape through with a 1 0 uh, one -nil win. It would be nice. Uh, Transatlantic Allison, hello to you. Morning or is it afternoon? I haven't a clue. <laughs> Who knows at this point? It's getting to that point in the year now where it's just all over the place. I'm also now feeling a little bit pressured as a pilot watcher. Uh, <laughs> but no. Um, hello to you. Hopefully you're doing well today. We are 220 nautical miles <coughs> from uh, starting our descent into Reus. Race. I don't know how you say it. Is it Reus or Royce or Roos or something, I'm sure somebody will tell me. It's landing day, so not with it. <laughs> uh, where are we flying to? We are, we've taken off from uh, Stansted. Um, Stansted Airport. Uh, and we are, um, yeah, we're heading down to Royce. Reyes. What did I say first? Reyes? Reyes, um, in Spain, just outside Barcelona. Just on a short, uh, short flight, short hop on the A320 Neo. I'm not a professional, don't know what I'm doing most of the time. I will mess things up, so. See how we get on. I spy a Neo indeed. <laughs> Uh, you, don't, you don't want to hear it, Alison, honestly. <laughs> I wouldn't even know what to say during a descent brief. I mean, what, what would you say uh, with starting our descent? <laughs> That's all I can think of. Starting our descent, uh, sit your butts down, don't move. Uh, 
Yeah, Jack Wilkes. Contact Bordeaux Center on 124 decimal 05. That's our call to contact Bordeaux. Uh, Jack Rolls is that time of year, all the festivities happening, all that. Mm-hmm, grab your baubles and wreck your tree. Bordeaux Center Air Tourism 185 one tree. flight level 360. Air Tourism 185 Bordeaux Center, continue as planned. Uh, you just tell them how long to get to the ground. Do you not say, get down to the ground in my own time? <laughs> I don't know, let's think, I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what you would say. That's all they care about. <laughs> well, down here in Cornwall, we have a... Well, not that oh, I'm in Devon, but in Cornwall, this sort of area, we have a, a saying called Dreckley, which is either... Yeah, it, you know, you'll get there, or it'll happen, just no idea when. So I could use Dreckley. We'll Cargo get there directly. Yes, tell them if they get up before you <laughs> before you park the plane, you're going to turn the plane and go back. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going anymore. At least it's not a case of, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? For anyone that's joined, uh, we are back on the podcast this evening, 7.30pm UK time, uh, for the Airline World Cup. Uh, I will explain how it will work uh, on that show. Um, possibly just me hosting that as well, uh, but it will be a main, uh, mainly sort of a an audience interaction show where you will be picking the uh, overall World Airline Champion. <laughs> it's simple, waffle a load of numbers at them and wish them a safe onward journey uh, oh and don't tell them the wrong destination I mean you could if you wanted to laugh you could be like yeah, you know, we're just about to approach I don't know what's a, what's a bad place it's believable at the same time Not the <laughs> I'm sure you haven't. Jack, uh, got a very nice Bombardier Global at Bournemouth, 737 I wanted to get, didn't take off until now, that was a divert wasn't it from Lasham, uh, that came in yesterday you said, uh, Vruden the Great, uh, just keen the mic and saying, Joe where is this airport anyway, <laughs> watch the Karens come in with their complaints. Make sure we've got all the lights on here. Uh, so we've got wings on, yes. Beacon light, yes. Strobe lights, yes. Excuse me. Uh, landing lights don't need those yet. Uh, taxi lights, I'll take off. Yeah, all on. Just making sure. The sun is starting to set. Look at the aircraft from the other side. And we'll probably look at it with the moon. There you go. Turn wing lights off, not used in flight. Interesting. Okay, I will do that. There we go. Told you, I had no idea what I was doing. 
no idea what I'm doing half the time. Alright, so, can we get any places? No, we are somewhere over France though. On board the 320. Uh, I don't know if you I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to be messing with those buttons. <laughs> I use this as a bit of fun, really. That's what it is. Uh, only used for inspecting the wind and pushback. Fair enough. I know that moving forward. Back to the cockpit, 164 nautical miles, or 55 nautical miles, I should say, until we uh, begin somewhere, begin uh, descending. I'm just praying that the frame rates like hold out for a decent landing. I'll be slightly miffed if they don't. Jaguar with React 2023 booked, can't wait. Yeah, a lot of people have booked their 2023 uh, tickets. Um, I'm going to be booking my um, departure day ticket. Um, aircraft most looking forward to is the C27J Spartan. Yeah, I still can't believe you've not seen one yet. I thought you might have done. Uh, I'm just going to quickly put on, in the background, the football. Of course, it's Netherlands against USA in the knockout round of the World Cup. Um, and I highly recommend that you figure out how to hook the Quest 2 up to the computer so you can try some 3D. I'd love to. I'm going to try and find... I've got some time because I've got a busted um, uh, busted uh, elbow bone or a bone in my elbow has uh, fractured so I've got some time off work. I will probably have a look into that. Okay, it's not on ITV, it's on BBC. Um, I need to get you an A320 sim for real and show you how close Microsoft has got nowadays. Do you know what? I've, I've done um, 737 um, thingy and it is, yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd say yeah, the 737 on here, but the 737 Max. Um, but yeah, it, it's obviously not the same, but yeah, we were doing circuits around East Midlands. That was pretty cool. But I'd like to do a 320 actually. Um, sort of know a 320 cockpit a little bit better than a 737. So that sounds like fun. Um, Fruit and the Great again. When my VR stopped working, uh, I stopped flying. That's how much better it is. See, it's, honestly, you make me just want to end the stream now so I can try it. <laughs> That's how bad I want to try it. Um, Jack Wells has Van Dyke started. I imagine he probably would do against uh, the US. Uh, and Transatlantic as an ouch sounds painful. Still hurts now. I've got movement in it. 
this is my left hand here. I've got movement, but I can't straighten it. I can't lift anything without yelping like a dog in trouble. Tell your predictions then for Holland against USA. Who's going to win? by a touchdown. <laughs> I'd actually like the USA to, uh, to win. Uh, Jack 4-1 Holland. One Holland Pulisic to get the consolation. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Fruden the Great Water spread on the game. If it were me, I'd go for a Holland maybe 2 1 Cody Gakpo to score as well. He's in fine form at the minute. No, one eye on the football, one eye on the flying. <clears throat> 112 nautical miles. Let's have a look on the map. To see whereabouts we are. Okay, going past Argen La Garenne Airport, uh, LFBA, which you can see on the map, uh, in between that and uh, Bergerac. So, don't think we're very far at all. No, not far at all. Half an hour, I'd say, if that. Uh, I predict a lot of guys falling on the ground and acting dramatic. <laughs> <clears throat> I think the Uruguayans were kind of um, known for doing that, I think. How good was that, though, seeing Uruguay get knocked out and Luis Suarez crying again? Uh, Jack never expected Germany to get knocked out. Well, that's, that's two World Cups in a row now. So, but I didn't expect him either. I've nearly put, was it nearly put a ten on them to win it? I'm glad I didn't. And uh, now it's some footballers being dramatic. Never. I oh, know it's a shock. Who'd have thunk it? <laughs> say have gone for a 4-3-3. Interesting choice. Uh, worse for that is Neymar says Jack. Well, less said about Neymar the better. Overall it's been a pretty smooth flight so far. We are literally sitting at 36,000 feet. Drop it off, it's a no good for me now. <laughs> That's the Lee Evans uh, quote there, Jack. Nice one. Uh, Rudin the Great, I'm glad I found your channel. This has been entertaining. Thank you very much. Thanks for the kind words. Speedbird 378, contact to lose approach on 129 or decimal 305. If you think this is entertaining, good probably day. worth tuning in 7.30 pm UK time later on uh, where we do the, uh, the airline version of the World Cup. That one I am looking forward to doing. Swing it this way because uh, Ian Hartley's favourite airline is about to, uh, or we're about to pass Ian Hartley's favourite airline, uh, Air Tampa Portugal. That is a job he hates me. Purely for the livery, Report nothing else. Air Tour is 1851, have the generic in sight. Oh, actually, it's uh, come right past us there, look, if I take the map up. 
Very nice. Everyone say hello to Tab Portugal. There you go. One for Eden. Uh, Chugga and Gazan, I'm heading away in January to use that is fantastic. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, would be great. Uh, what server do you fly on? Uh, North Europe. I think it's North Europe. I think it is. Maybe the, I don't know if the server has anything to do with how well the frame rate comes out, but yeah, uh, I think it's North North Europe. I think I've also got multiplayer turned off as well, so you don't see anybody else. Um, but maybe try and get everybody else on as well, so you can actually see, you know, uh, see everybody else. Um, sort of turning up. You see Wizz Air eight one seven three in the background. Present sort of time for Christmas. Have I? Were you asking me that? Uh, Ruin the Great, you think? It is, yes, yeah, North North, um, North Europe. I had a look yesterday, I think. I was just having a mooch. Yeah, North uh, North Europe. That's what I quite like about this uh, flight sim is that when you see a plane like Wizz Air, uh, there, uh, 8173. You can actually look up the flight radar, and it's actually there, so it's pretty cool. I've uh, got two weeks at Airbus, getting to play on the A350. I am not jealous in what, in any way, shape, or form. I'm massively jealous. <laughs> Oh, I wish I could join you on that. It sounds like so much fun. Um, if you have multiplayer off, I can't find it anyway. Uh, I've only got it off because I'm hoping it will help with um, like frame rates and stuff. I could probably put it back on, but the problem is if I put multiplayer back on, I tend not to fly to big airports because it would just lag the game out completely. And frame rates would just get absolutely you know, shot to pieces. I might turn it back on for the next one, we'll see. Three nautical miles. One two one decimal one zero five for speed bird three seven eight. Uh, for anybody not watching, the USA has just newly scored. Uh, it was Christian Pulisic who very nearly uh, scored. is coming up at 7.30 p.m. UK time uh, tonight on the podcast after a, a small sort of mental health break. Uh, we are back indeed. I'm actually really gutted they haven't got a 350 out on the, on the sim yet. I thought that would have been something that they may have done. They have got the A310, which I'm quite interested in trying to, to fly. Thinking of possibly doing a Air Transat Toronto to Manchester flight on that one. Problem is, is then you've got to sit here for five, six, seven hours and try and talk about stuff. I'm sure we could think of something. Play some games, etc. I'm sure it'll be fine. Next week, I think we'll probably do. I think three thirty Neo. I think. Um, Probably the closest thing, closest thing I can get to, uh, <laughs> to to doing the 350 at the moment. It's the 330 Neo. Uh, maybe take that, maybe across across the pond or something. Uh, 
I just got this working last night. I haven't even tried the helicopters yet. I tend to steer it to like stay away from the helicopters. Like I think what would be quite interesting is to do the the Hercules, uh, no, not the Hercules, sorry, the Hughes, uh, Hughes H4 or the, the big plane there. Um, I think that would be interesting. That would be so much fun to try and fly. Obviously, you could you, know, you land it in the in the sea or in, the, in an ocean sort of thing, but I think it's massive. Love to be able to kind of give that a try. Uh, Alison, really, I'm shocked they haven't. Uh, got one yet? Yeah, they really don't. They really, really don't. Um, some of the aircraft that they have, um, let's say, like whether it's freeware or ones that you have paid, uh, you've paid for. Uh, 350 is not there yet. Uh, next year they are bringing out the 757, uh, the A300 to accompany the A310 uh, that they have released. Uh, so yeah, 757. I'm looking forward to a lot. Contact Bordeaux Center on 120 um, and um, yeah, A380 is due out by about 2024, I believe. They do have the 225, yeah, they do have the Antonov 225, which I might download. Uh, probably straight after this, but maybe have a, have a go on that, see if I can get that to work. NHR to Boston, possibly. Um, as I've said before, like I find big airports tend to lag a bit on my game. Um, so if I can get it to work properly, then yes, absolutely. London to Boston. I do have the Virgin livery on the uh, 330 new. Uh, so I'll probably maybe give that a go. Um, A340. No, there isn't. There is a freeware one, but it's 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 shocking. It's not very good, and it's a FSX converted file, I think. So it's not it's not brilliant at all. It's very limited in terms of airliners at the minute because you have to like properly pay. A three eighty in twenty twenty four as late as the real thing was. <laughs> Alright, we're close to the Jerome transition there, and we've only got, uh, yeah, literally those four transitions to go. I think around about here, possibly. Maybe before that, maybe about here, we'll start to descend down. It looks like it's partially cloudy over the south of France. At the moment. Oh god, don't tell Mr. Agapoise. Yeah, I know, Jack, I know. Your distance to run an altitude currently at 36,000. Um, don't think we've got very long to go. Air tour is 1851 descent and maintain flight level 2900. Uh, Alison, what apparently it's 1 descent and maintain Netherlands. flight level 2900. Air tour is 1851. Okay, now we start descending. I am behind on my BBC iPlayer. So I haven't seen the goal yet. We'll go down to 290. We'll go down to the. Yeah, we'll take the speed back. Down to 50. 
Yeah, just seen the goal, Memphis the pie. Is the Alps? Was it the Pyrenees? It's one of the two. Max is back. And I'm not a professional pilot. I'm literally just having fun with it. If I want to descend at 250, I will descend at Where are we now over? We are over mountains. Over the mountain range. thought of doing a uh, real flight sim stream. I think it's real flight sim, RFS. No, don't have it, don't play it. Flight level 210 air tours 1851. Let 
tried the pelican? No, I haven't. I say this is the first proper time I've actually picked this up to fly it. Um, since, gosh, about five, six months, I think. Good five, six months, I think. Oh, is that the... Oh, I know what you mean. It's, the free, it's that, that free thing, isn't it? Celebrate Halo. Yeah, no, not not trying it. No, there was that one that, uh, from the Top Gun thing, wasn't it? The SR-72 or something. You'd fly around the world in like two hours or whatever it was. still available that Top Gun one. Might like try and do like a circumnavigation of the world or something. Dark Star, that's it, that's the one that went on next. Rudin flew it from Sydney to Washington last night. Well it took about half hour didn't it? find that these waypoints are a little bit off. Like 7,000 feet, we're like not even close to being there yet. I always think it's a little bit off. So I tend not to follow it. Guys, if you had to choose your favourite Christmas song, what would it be? Uh, Jacks would be Stop the Cavalry by Joan and Louie. Good shouts. Uh, Air tours, one eight five one descent and maintain 15,000 feet. Mine is probably... Descend and maintain 15,000 feet, Air Tourist, 1851. Uh, mine is probably... Uh, don't know, really. I mean, probably driving home from... Uh, driving home for Christmas by Chris Maria is probably my favourite. Yeah, definitely driving home for Christmas. Rudin the Great Jack I have to with Let It Snow because my mum knows that song drives me crazy um, and she laughs every time it comes on. Uh, the fire is slowly dying and we should be goodbye. That line just sticks in my craw. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Alison, Underneath the Tree by Kelly Clarkson. What a shout. What a fantastic shout that is. Um, Uh, 
uh, Jack Wells, Merry Christmas by Elton John and Ed Sheeran. Get out. Get out for mentioning Ed Sheeran. Get out. Shaking Stevens, Merry Christmas everybody, good shot Max. Ravish okay. Lowman, from my school. <laughs> Still don't like Ed Sheeran, no, no I don't. Not at all. Descend and maintain 9,000 feet air tours 1851. Alright, we're descending again to, I think that was 9,000. It was 9,000. We'll have to take over shortly. Um, who was that you're talking to? That was my dad. Uh, Rudin the Great, it is my goal this year to not hear Mariah Carey. Do you know, the temptation to play it. <laughs> Just so you can hear it. But I don't get a copyright strike, and I, I don't particularly want that. Uh, it's been a long time, sir. How have you been? I've been alright, Pravish. Thank you for asking. How have you been? It's good to see you in the stream. So as I said, I am not a professional pilot. I do not know what I'm doing. Uh, so I will be landing the plane uh, almost, like I say, via, via fast style, basically. Uh, I'm going in manual. Air tours 1851, you are tree six miles north. Descend and maintain 5,000 feet. Expect VOR DME runway 25 approach via Victor Lima Alpha transition. Clear to Victor Lima Alpha. Descend and maintain 5,000 feet. Expect VOR DME runway 25 approach via Victor Lima Alpha transition. Clear to Victor Lima Alpha Air Tours 1851. See, I'm just pressing all these buttons because I literally do not know what I'm doing. He's not turning. No. All right, we'll go in. Let's go. Lots of people coming out with some really good shouts here for like Christmas songs. Um, Jack Royal Slade, Merry Christmas everybody. A really good shout, really, really good shout. Um, Pravish Lohman, I mean, last I saw was in school, uh, but he's doing well, so good good to hear. Uh, Alison's trying not to get wound this year. I got wound this morning. Um, so, yeah. I think I've already beaten you to that getting whammed. Um, excuses, excuses. No excuses. <laughs> no excuses. I do need to learn how to do certain things on this game, but I feel it'll just take the fun out of it a little bit. Got to keep remembering it is a sim. Uh, Tom, will you wear Santa Claus outfit? I don't have one. I have thought about it though for, for the podcast. I have thought about it. It's 
So we're sort of approaching the final descent down to uh, to Reyes. Um, Alison will know that green line you can see on the screen. Is that anything to do with me trying to land the plane? Uh, right, on the flight director control light here. I feel like that green line is for something, but I can't think what it's for. As long as you don't do a Ryanair landing, it'll be fine. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jack. As if I didn't need any more pressure, knowing that Alison's watching. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Tom, do a private jet flight next. Might do, actually. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. I might do a stream during the week as well. Uh, flight director bar. I take it I'm going to need to follow this. Look at the map. You can see on the map where we're heading to. <laughs> Still pressure. Getting there, Trish. Right, I'm literally going to take everything off now and I'm going to fly this myself. Jack says it's freezing in Bournemouth. It's absolutely freezing everywhere. Bloody cold here in Devon, I know that much. So we have Barcelona Airport to our left. Which of course we are not going to. We are going to uh, Reyes uh, as we approach sort of the final uh, sort of turn before we go. Uh... Okay, so we can actually turn in now. such thing.
Let's see how we get on here. I'm descending like a... Air Tours 1851 climb and maintain 2,600 feet. Climb and maintain 2,600 feet Air Tours 1851. I must make pilots so nervous like watching this because <laughs> it's not it's not exactly uh, <clears throat> standard protocol Just do a live pause here, hang on. Just get rid of that. No, we'll just get rid of that. Right, I actually want to see where the airport is. You want to see the airport? Nope, okay, we'll carry on. Sorry, Alison, I'm no nervous disposition. <laughs> Alison, stop. <laughs> I don't actually know. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I can't tell. Is that the wrong way there? I can't tell. Blowing tree 207 turn. So I think it is. The wrong way there. This is how much of a novice I am. Probably gonna go gears down. Hey, there's a problem. Yes, this is uh, an emergency. Tower on one two eight decimal eight seven five air tours one eight five one. Reyes Tower Air Tours 185110 miles east inbound board DME runway 25 approach. Fly past. Air Tours 1851 Reyes Tower. Altimeter 29 or decimal 74 winds 2. I'm actually going to go outside for this because this is where I seem to do better. Reyes Tower Air Tours 1851 inbound board DME runway 25 approach. Air 
Sorry, pilots, I'm about to butcher. <laughs> I'm about to butcher this. Cleared VR DME runway 25, approach air tourist 1851. I can imagine the paperwork being filled in right now as we speak. Yeah, the pilot's in incapable of doing his job. Even though it is a game, he's very incapable of not, uh, not being able to fly. Alright, let's see if we can butter this. Sun setting in the north of Spain. Clear to land runway two five zero. Clear to land runway two five zero. One eight five one. Alright, four miles out. Currently one sixty knots. Don't lag on me now. Don't lag on me now. Get rid of the map, don't need that now. Get rid of the objective, definitely don't need that. Straight the plane out. Uh, thrust reverse, yeah, I think the thrust reverses are armed on this one. I've just got to be careful because my left arm is the one that's knackered. Don't lag on me now, damn it. I'm a little too low. Way too low. I think. Just going to bring it up a little. Yeah, 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 go away. I did arm the thrust reverses, I'm not entirely sure. No, they do work. Anyway, we're down. <laughs> we're down, people. We made it. Welcome to uh, Reyes in the north of Spain. I never said it would be a perfect landing. <laughs> Look, I haven't played this for ages, alright? Normally I can butter it, but not today. Air Tours 185, one contact ground on 121.7. Not today. 121.7 for Air Tours 1851. <laughs> Thanks everyone <laughs> for just butchering the landing. I did say it was going to be a butchered landing. I never said it was going to be any good. Does it not give me an option to go to ground? It generally doesn't. Fuck it. Excuse the language, I'm just going to find my own parking spot. Oh look, there's one right in front of us.
Yeah, I know. I know, I know, I'm still on the runway. I know. Stop, <laughs> everybody, stop it. Alright, we're going to park ourselves up here. Alright everybody, we made it. Albeit not potentially in one piece, but we've made it. Didn't say it was gonna be the best of landings, but there you go. There's the there's the uh, record for anybody that wants to see it. I'm just gonna change my window setting here, hang on. There you go. <laughs> Hope I mean look, I mean look, I I said it's not gonna be the best of landings, etc. Uh it has been a while. Uh and of course I've never ever really sort of done this on a stream. Um so yeah, you'll have to kind of forgive me for that. Um, but look, first time back, I think we've done all right. If it wasn't for a slight bit of lag, I've got to try and get my bearings together. I can probably do better in a 330, etc., um, which we'll probably try and do like next year, ne next next week or something. But I'm trying. All right, I am trying. I don't think it was that bad. It was a slight bounce because I was just trying to manage everything. But yeah, don't worry. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll make sure that uh, next time we, we do a proper landing uh, and um, yeah should be fun should be fun next time but there you go so Airbus A320 Neo uh, we took off at 25 past one uh, that's probably not the right time that's probably a, probably because I've paused it a few times um, but yes. Uh, hour and 44 minutes in terms of flight probably a little bit less than that just purely because of the uh, um, a couple of the pauses that I've made uh, but hopefully uh, everyone sort of enjoyed um, that hopefully fingers crossed um, <laughs> I don't know why there's pre like pressure it's like it's a, it's a bit of fun it's all it is it's a bit of fun it's absolutely fine um, you know, I'm not one of these like people that will, you know, focus and literally do everything by the book. Like to me, flight sim is uh, it's a little bit of fun. Uh, <laughs> it's a little bit of fun, um, and you know, I I like it. I enjoy it. Um, and it's nice to actually bring it back out again for the first time in God knows how long. So, bear with me. I will be better uh, over time. Um, <laughs> But uh, but yeah, so we've landed at Reyes next. Uh, we may do one during the week. May do another sort of short flight or maybe a couple of hops uh, around different places. Um, don't know yet. But next Saturday we'll do a longer flight. We'll use a bigger plane uh, and we'll use the butter machine um, of the A330 Neo, uh, and I'll decide where we're going um, with, with that. Um, but yeah, hopefully by that time I'll actually land a plane without breaking necks or being compared to Ryanair, which is always good fun. Um, <laughs> uh, Alison says, uh, well done, some things for us to work on, but we'll make a pilot out of you, thank you. Um, 
uh, yeah, Vruden the Great, uh, I'll be around lurking like a neckbeard. Thank you very much for, for, for coming in and, and joining us and, and subscribing to us as well. Um, everyone's saying that their body needs to rest and by the Lord Jesus, my spine's crocked be the Jesus. I don't think it was that bad. I've seen, a lot, I've seen people land planes a lot worse than that on this game. A lot worse than that. Um, but yeah. There you go. Um, we'll, I think we'll end it. We'll end it there. Uh, but we will be back again uh, at seven thirty p.m. Uh, UK time. Uh, just as a heads up, the Netherlands have now gone two 0 up uh, against the USA. Um, right before half time. Uh, but yes, seven thirty p.m. We are back uh, for the live uh, podcast of the uh, World Cup. Uh, aka Ian Hartley yes if you haven't seen Ian's landings uh, it's yeah probably probably an idea to do so uh, and then say that my landings are, are pretty much perfect um, they're not mine aren't anyway um, yeah 7.30pm we're back for the podcast it is the airline world cup um, I'll explain about how that happens and the idea of that um, how that will work uh, on the stream uh, and um, yeah, it, it'd be a lot of fun. It'd be a, a lot of fun indeed. So um, yeah, so I will obviously see you shortly for that. Um, Max Jet TV live. Bring Ian and Steve back. Steve has other things to do, and Ian, well, pretty much is busy as well. So they are still part of the team. They just you know don't you know not not on the show at the moment, but they they will be on the on the show at some stage I'm sure uh, but at the moment they so they got uh, they, they've got uh, things that they need to do at weekends so uh, first flight out the bag I quite enjoyed that actually I thought it was good fun with the interaction of you lot so yeah we'll be doing this on a, on a d definitely a regular basis not just flight sim of course we'll be doing some other games as well so if you want to see some other games here as well um, just let me know what you want to see if you want to see predominantly flight sim um, and we'll do sort of like flight sessions as well where you lot can join me and probably show me up and be better uh, better uh, pilots than, than myself uh, at the moment but um, yeah I will we're gonna end it there uh, I will see you uh, in what's that just under four hours time uh, for the podcast really looking forward to that hopefully you'll be able to join us uh, but for now, uh, take care of yourselves and I'll see you in four hours time, but I'll see you uh, around during the week uh, for another flight sim stream. Take care, everybody. I will see you in a few.